Chang is an island of history, culture and beautiful beaches, so there's certainly lots to see and do. A popular and very picturesque stop is at Azadang Bridge. Back in the late 1800s, the island was home to many royal residences. King Rama V granted his personal funds to build the bridge as an act of merit-making. Located at the Maha Wachilawut Peak is the Royal Stone Seat, used by King Chulalongkorn to view the park, sunsets and beautiful scenery. To commemorate the life and works of King Rama V, a summer palace shrine was built in his honour, and many people make offerings to the shrine on a regular basis. A few steps away, you'll find the ruins of King Rama V's palace. The king ordered the buildings to be pulled down and removed to be built elsewhere after the island was filled with troops during the French-Siamese conflict in 1893. The beautiful wooden house by the sea was used as a resort for foreign residents before it was renovated to become the residence of members of the Thai royal family when visiting the island. It's now used as a tourist office and exhibition hall. Around a seven kilometer ride to the other side of the island is the most popular beach, the beautiful Tampang Beach. Here you'll find water activities, beachfront restaurants and accommodation. The beach is relatively quiet most days and the majority of visitors are Thais as it's the closest island to Bangkok. There's no cost to sit on the deck chairs. You can relax on the beautiful white sand beach for free. It makes the perfect place to sit back and unwind whilst taking in the stunning views of the bay after a day of adventures around the island. The last ferry back to Pattaya is at 7pm, so be sure to catch the magnificent views of the sun setting over the hilltops. Ko Si Chang, a little hidden paradise on the outskirts of Pattaya. The Sports Lounge in Soi One off Pratamnak is home to all your favourite sports and food. From 9 in the morning, delicious food, 99 baht full English breakfast and a daily special for 175 baht. That's available all throughout the day until closing time. Soi One Pratamnak in the Pattaya Heights condominium with plenty of parking. This is Thai time with me, Tommy D and Crew Fon. Good Sabadi morning. Sawadi crap. Sabai di mai. Sabai di ma ka. What are we going to learn today in Thai time? Also that you can actually use it here. It's about, do you remember the words money? Ngan. Ngan. This ng again, yeah. right? Ngan. Ngan. We have another word actually is tang or satang actually. Oh, I remember you telling us yeah. that. Yeah. But you can use ngan. Everybody understand ngan. Right. And you want to have like a change, you know, you're going to get money back 
from the shop, from the restaurant. Oh, whatever. like if you give them 10 baht and you want 3 baht change. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, um, ngân thon, ngân thon. 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 Like it's, the last letter is a n. Yeah? Yes, it's a n. Ngân thon. Yes, it's your change. Oh, okay. Here is your change. Oh. And ngân if you don't get, you can say, ko ngân thon. I want my change. Yes. Ko ngân Sorry, ko ngân thon. 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 Yes. Like thon. Yes, thon. Mm-hmm. Ko ngân thon. Yeah? Yes. Is that right? Yeah. Give me my change. Yes. Because sometimes people like to, they look at you, oh, for lang, for lang, for lang, and they don't want to give you the change. <laughs> Even in a petrol station, when they go, tip, mister, you're joking. <laughs> Tie time on Fabulous 103, back again tomorrow with Crew Fon. Coco Fitness in Mike Shopping Mall is giving away free yoga and Zumba classes to all members. And you get their state-of-the-art fitness equipment, air-conditioned studios, and a choice of classes, too. Jets buy three months, get one free. Six months, get two free. Twelve months, get three free. And for the ladies who are looking to keep in shape, you get 50% off all memberships. Take advantage of these great deals now, from 7 a.m. through till 11 at night. Coco Fitness, no excuses. Members of the public who reported foreign loan sharks were rewarded this week as two Indians were nabbed while collecting debts in a Bangkok market. 20% a month was their going rate with reported intimidation for non-payers. Anyone can report these types of people anywhere in the country. Simply dial 1111 for the government hotline. Student tourist websites overseas are now reporting to their mass membership on the closure of unlicensed guest houses here, many of which would normally house backpackers and students in the summer. The fear from the uni kids is that they will book, arrive and have nowhere to go. This will especially affect the islands and the capital too, where numerous resorts were designed specifically for students. On Phuket, police caught a Ukrainian as he skimmed card details at an ATM. A check on him and his home revealed that he wasn't working alone. Two others are being sought after what's thought to have been a four-year career of crime here in Thailand. The court man was in possession of fake cards loaded with genuine card details, and they were found together to have invested in 36 million bahts worth of property here. 50 other cards were discovered and cardholders have been advised to change their PIN numbers in the area as a precaution. Meanwhile at home, a Nearpatia, the husband of a woman stabbed on a Chonburi road, is being sought by police. He's thought to have killed her as she rode to work after failing to rekindle their relationship. He fled on foot, leaving his bike behind after noticing that a motorist had witnessed the attack. Following rains last night, the back road from Huayai to Horseshoe Point is virtually impassable for many vehicles. Where construction is underway for the new motorway, mud is up to 8 inches deep. And in most other areas, new potholes make the road very, very dangerous. Drivers are advised to find alternative routes or take extra care. A few souvenir t-shirts from the Concert for Kids are still left and on sale. Message us on Facebook to buy them, they're 400 baht each. They were donated and made by local shirt company Global Print Professionals. And they did an amazing job. If you're looking for t-shirts, get in touch with them. And with the Met Office promising highs today of around 31, dropping to 28, and a guarantee of showers at some time. That is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM. Keeping you in touch with Thailand and of course Pattaya, the city of fun. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. 
Hello, this is Joe Parsons at the BBC. The Liverpool in Egypt forward Mohamed Salah was used for political capital after he was pictured with a Chechen leader Ramzan Kadyrov, says an anti-discrimination chief. Egypt is staying in the former war-torn republic throughout the World Cup. Kadyrov's regime has been accused of human rights abuses, including the torture and persecution of homosexuals. Piara Power, the executive director of the Fair Network, which works to combat inequality in football, says Kadyrov's actions aren't surprising. This was always going to happen. If you know Kadyrov, you follow the way in which he runs the region, then you knew that at some point he was going to try to gain some political capital. And I think he's done that. And the shame of it is, is that Chechnya is one of the most dangerous places in the world for someone who is gay. The allegations that have been flying around about how gay Chechens have, have been tortured, have been killed, their families have been persecuted, uh, those individuals that perhaps may not even be gay but are, are accused of being gay have also been tortured and persecuted. So, you know, this was not a good moment uh, a day or two before the World Cup kicks off. I, I think FIFA have made a big mistake there, allowing that training ground to, to be situated in Chechnya. A good performance at the World Cup is an opportunity to change your life. That's according to the former Newcastle striker Alan Shearer. England, whose squad contains players all from the Premier League, have arrived in Russia now. Shearer says manager Gareth Southgate has to make several decisions on key positions. Plenty have got uh, opportunities. Harry Kane is our, uh, is our captain. When we need him, we're going to have to go to him. He's going to have to perform. And Raheem Sterling's coming into this on the back of an excellent season with Manchester City, as is, uh, as is Deli Ali. One or two decisions that the manager has to make. We defenders, I think, whether Gary Cahill plays or, or Harry Maguire. This is an opportunity for someone to change their life. Bournemouth have held talks with Levante over their midfielder Jefferson Lamar. No bid has been made yet for the Colombian, who's likely to cost around $21 million. And for more football news from the BBC, go to bbc.com forward slash football. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Coming up next, Patty and Mail taking you on a road trip. Serious about losing weight and getting fit? Why not put yourself in the capable hands of the one and only weight loss center in Pattaya that uses both CrossFit and cardio martial arts? Let us plan a fitness program that focuses on your individual needs. Or create a program with a broad set of martial arts experiences. Visit combatgroup.com and start training alongside champions. Take advantage of our special monthly promotion for only 200 baht per session. Combat Group. Your one stop for fitness, weight loss, and martial arts. Hey, hey, Mr. Mr. Right. Hey, hey, Mr. Mr. Wrong. Hey, hey, trouble, trouble, strife. Hey, hey, sorrow, won't you be my Hello there, Jeff Carter here, and I'm at the Artist Village in Wahin. So come with me now, and I'll show you around. Come on, let's go.
hope you enjoyed my little tour there of Wahin Artist Village. And if you want to come along here, ask anybody where it is. It's about 10, 20 minutes outside the city centre. So uh, it's a good place to come, isn't it? I hope you've all enjoyed it. Okay, and I'm not even going to say it today. You can say it. And the main thing is... Coming up next, fabulous food. The referees can't decide who the winner should be in the big match between Retox versus Retox Game On. Retox in Soy Lenki is the sports bar with more, and more of those specials, like the 98 bat breakfast and daily Brexit specials. Retox Game On in Soy Honey is the brand new sports bar, with 50 TVs including one at your own table, plus the surprise of a new menu and seating for 200 for any match day or night. The battle continues 24 hours a day. Try Retox and Retox Game On, then you decide. Coming up next on Fabulous TV Patia. The Sports Lounge in Soy One off Pratham Neck is home to all your favourite sports and food. From nine in the morning, delicious food, 99 baht full English breakfast, and a daily special for 175 baht. That's available all throughout the day until closing time. Soy One Pratham Neck in the Patia Heights condominium with plenty of parking. I'm Megan and you're watching Fabulous TV Patia. Today I am here to check out one of Patia's oldest tourist attractions. This place was built back in 1986. It's a beautiful park filled with miniature replicas of all the famous attractions and landmarks from all around the world. Today we are here to check out the very popular attraction, Mini Siam Patia.
Let's have a look at some of the special events and promotions coming up around Pattaya today and this coming week. Over at the Sunset Lounge at the rooftop of the Hotel Barracuda on Patia Second Road, you can enjoy the panoramic views of the city, as well as a two-hour free flow of wine and tapas. Mention Fabulous 103 FM and receive a special deal of only 777 baht plus plus per person. That's available every evening between 7 and midnight. If you're looking for a private secluded place to watch your favourite team play in the FIFA World Cup, the Mercure Hotel Patia is providing an outdoor theatre showing all matches. And if you're in a group of at least 10 people, you can have your own private area for the duration of the match with a large screen and free flow drinks and tapas for just 500 baht per person. Get your dancing shoes out and get ready for Patia International Ladies Club Black and White Party. That's on the 23rd of June at Centara Grand Mirage Beach Resort. With lots to look forward to, including a buffet, a free flow of drinks, a bubbly reception, a disco and a raffle, tickets are priced at 1500 baht per person. And all monies go into their welfare fund. On the 21st of June at Central Festival Patia Beach Mall, an interesting one for you health lovers. They'll be launching their World Beach Yoga 2018 event. That's on Thursday the 21st of June. Join over 400 yoga enthusiasts from all around the world. Lots to see with yoga shows and tips and all participants will be receiving a participation certificate as well as the chance to win lots of awards and prizes. That takes place in the sunken area of the Central Festival Patia Beach Mall on Patia Beach Road. If you're feeling fit, what about the Walk Run for Charity on the 16th of June? The YWCA Patia Centre will be hosting their sixth annual Walk and Run Charity event on the 15th of June, raising money to help disadvantaged women and children in and around the city. While participants compete for cups, with over 3,000 competitors taking place last year, this year's event should be bigger and better than ever before. Participate or just join in to watch the 10, 6 and 3 kilometre races. They start at 5.30 in the evening on Saturday, the 16th of June, from the front of Central Festival Patia and Beach Mall. The Garden Cafe at Avani Patia Resort and Spa promises that you can fill your boots with a feast for all the family at the cafe enjoying a sizzling international and barbecue seafood buffet. That's going to be brimming with delicious dishes and fresh seafood. Takes place daily from 6 until 10 and is priced at only 850 baht per person. You can find the Garden Cafe inside the grounds of the Avani Patio Resort and Spa and that's a great way to escape Songkran for a few hours. The Café G at the Holiday Inn in Patia offers a breakfast buffet from 5.30 in the morning all the way through till 10.30. It's an international breakfast buffet every single day of the week with an array of Thai and international dishes, along with live cooking stations and of course fresh coffee, priced at only 550 baht on weekends, and even less during the week, 299 baht. Every Thursday is curry night at the Bangsaray Beach Club which of course is in Bangsaray. Enjoy a different curry every week, paired with naan bread, poppadoms and onion bhajis. The price is only 250 baht a set. Tasty Indian food while you sit overlooking Bangsaray Bay. That's every Thursday evening and starts at 6 in the evening. Earth Hour Evening at the Salarim Nam restaurant promises whining and dining your evening away under the stars with a candle-lit Earth Hour dinner. Indulge in a Thai traditional feast in romantic and relaxing surroundings out by the lotus ponds at Sala Rim Nam, which is located at the Avani Patia Resort and Spa on Second Road. That's every Monday evening from 7 until 10 in the evening. Fancy some live music and relaxation? Well, why not try the Havana Bar and Terrazzo restaurant? They're both at the Holiday Inn. And on Wednesdays all the way through till Saturday, you can sit back, relax and enjoy the wonderful sounds of the brand new in-house band. The Respect Band performs a range of Western, Thai, Chinese, country and even pop music. And that's located at the front of the Holiday Inn in Patia's Beach Road. 
every Sunday at the Havana Bar and Terrazzo Restaurant. Enjoy a buy one, get one free promotion on all pizzas between 12 midday and 8 o'clock in the evening. And don't forget your dancing shoes, as every Sunday evening is the popular Latin dancing night. Learn some new moves with complimentary dance lessons before the party and enjoy the Latin tunes by a live DJ. The dancing itself starts at 8.30 at the Havana Bar at Holiday Inn.